What's good, y'all? It's your boy Danny Myers, and you are tuned in T7M Radio, Battle Rap's premier radio network. What's up, y'all? It's T7M Radio, the coach. I'm your host, Seven Mitchell, here to bring you another edition of Blogs Over Everything, where we pretty much kind of break down and recap briefly everything that went down in the realm of battle rap for that week. Make sure y'all first hit that like button, subscribe to the channel right now. I got so much on deck and plan. Uh, make sure, again, y'all follow us everywhere on social media. Just a quick reminder, at T7M Radio, the culture will be locked in every Sunday, 8 p.m. Eastern, 347-989-8102. We're going to be relaunching the podcast it's April 22nd, day after my birthday. This shit is going to be so crazy. I got a couple special guests on deck I pointed out to y'all. We're going to chop it up, break that down in the upcoming weeks. This week in Battle Rap has been pretty chill. It's been a couple, um, you know, bombs been dropped, a uh, couple battles dropped, so I just wanted to keep y'all in the loop real quick. As far as battles that dropped this week, uh, King of the Dot, shout out to King of the Dot, they had a battle that dropped Hero versus TK. That battle dropped just recently on King of the Dot channel. Make sure y'all check that out. The Queen of the Ring, shout out to the ladies. They also dropped... Um, another battle from one of their spawn sessions, T. White versus Tony Blanco. This was a crazy ass battle. Shout out to both of them ladies, big up to the Queen of the Ring. That was a dope um, spawn session battle. Wordplay, presence from both. Uh, these two girls definitely got potential and it was something to check out. So y'all definitely got to check out uh, Tony Blanco versus T. White on the Queen of the Ring channel. Um, another female battle that dropped this week. I think it was a one-rounder from the League of Champions. We had the girl QEK and L. Renee. They went back and forth for the little one-rounder. That was pretty dope. That's something else that y'all got to check out. So those were three of the top battles that I got a chance to really lock into um, this week. And I would definitely advise that y'all do the same fuck with those battles. Um, big announcement made this week. I know this thing been kind of working for a little bit, but the Bullpen Battle League and the Queen of the Ring is now finally making a collaboration. It's going down April the 22nd or something like that. It's going down in Atlanta, April 22nd, I believe. Um, damn, day after my birthday. But that shit is going to be lit. Now, I don't know exactly how many battles they're going to have. I don't know exactly who's battling. It seems like they're making announcements. 40 Balls was actually the first name um, to make an announcement, to be announced on this card. So we will definitely see 40 bars in Atlanta. I'm not sure versus who. Y'all gotta get back to me. Let me know if y'all like this bullpen versus Queen of the Ring look. I mean, everybody have always been in tune with male versus female, but the matchups, we're really not sure who bullpen got the matchup against Queen of the Ring and vice versa. So y'all gotta get back to me. Let me know what y'all think. Um, overall, I think this shit can be crazy. I'm not sure, like I said, about the matchups. And I don't want Queen of the Ring bringing their top girls, like 40 bars, cool, maybe one more, but outside of that, if you want to do this, I would prefer you bring your young talent um, in this situation, a battle with some of the young talent with bullpen, got a lot of raw, you know, exclusive shit, I think that'll be dope, so, I don't know, we might get to see 40 versus John John in the one round, I mean, that'd be crazy, who knows how it might play out, um, and I might be going over here with John John coming back, but I just think that was dope. Um, as far as blogs that dropped this week, other blogs that dropped this week, I think one of the blogs that I saw that been catching my headline. I don't really know where this issue started at, but um, Queen's Flip and Battle Truth. Battle Truth had a response to Queen's Flip. Apparently, Queen's Flip was saying um, some things to Bad. I, I don't know really what the history is. I just see they was going back and forth, but um, pretty entertaining blog. The nigga Battle Truth is a funny nigga to me. Um, so y'all make sure y'all go ahead and check out Battle Truth's uh, video blog on Queens Flip. Um, that shit was crazy um, and funny at the same time. So shout out to them. Another crazy um, announcement that was made. This one's about a URL. Born Legacy 6. It looked like it might go down here in, in the DMV in Maryland. Well, I'm not sure if Maryland or Virginia or D.C. were having, but it looks like Born Legacy 6 may actually play out in the in DMV, so I'm not sure what the matchup says. This is early, but this is a big time announcement if it goes down because the URL has never really been in the DMV making moves like that. So this is definitely long overdue. You feel me? I wish they could bring this shit straight to Baltimore, but you know, salute the URL for you know expanding and, 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 and thinking about bringing some of that kind of legacy flavor down to the DMV. That shit should be crazy. So make sure y'all stay in the loop for that. Um, also, as far as the uh, 
the URL Hunger 3. They got the new PG event that's going down April the 9th, I believe. Yeah, April the 9th, um, Hunger 3, the new PG event from the URL. This is going to be featuring Scotty and Big Hand. That's going to be probably my favorite battle on this card. It's going to be pretty dope, so make sure y'all check that out. Um, salute to the URL, salute to Norbs and everything. Big shout out to Norbs, man. I don't really want to get too in depth with this shit, but, you know, and, I, and it's definitely a team effort. But I don't know if y'all know that Norbs is really behind the PGs and behind this whole Born Legacy series. Like, it's a team effort, but, but Norbs is one of the big masterminds behind the Born Legacy series. And I just wanted to shout him out just for the simple fact that, you know, niggas be hating on Norbs and giving Norbs a little hard way to go, but man, what would we have? If it really wasn't for Norse, you know what I'm saying? Like, not saying he's the end all be all, but you know, born legacy shit, we love that, right? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, gotta shout out to Salute Norse, you know what I mean, for the mastermind. He be cooking up shit, so salute to him. And um, y'all make sure y'all check out that PG shit will be crazy. Uh before I leave, man, I just wanted to ask y'all a quick question and y'all y'all hit me back, drop y'all comments and or just hit me on social media throughout the week and let me know. Um I want y'all to take a look, a quick look at this actual chart or or pretty much a list of some of the media in battle rap now i know i may have missed a couple names i know i may have misspelled so it's definitely my bad um nothing intentional but i wanted to kind of generate a list to see like how many bloggers how many podcasts how many media how many platforms you know what i mean how many platforms do we have in battle rap and then when i look at the number is it a good thing or is it a bad thing to have that many outlets when it comes to media or giving an opinion or recapping and things of that nature? So, y'all, let me know. I felt like this was pretty interesting. I really did not know it was that many bloggers and that many outlets when they come to battle rap. Niggas is working. I can't deny that. I, I'm not going to knock niggas for that. The only thing I definitely will hope is this won't be like this. I hope that niggas can be creative and find a way to, you know what I mean, individually find their own lane and, um, you know, bring something exclusive to the table. Whether it's big or small, just something exclusive, something different that the fan can go to each and every platform and feel like they get something that they won't get from anywhere else. We don't want to see no copycatting. The blogger got caught up today with some copycatting shit. Uh, but, no, nah, man, that's it, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this list. T7 M Radio, the coach of 7 Mitchell. Make sure y'all join us every Sunday, like I said, 8 p.m. Eastern, 347 989 8102. This blows over everything, y'all. Stay safe. I just wanted to hit y'all up, give y'all a little bit of breaking news that went down throughout the week, just in case y'all out the loop. Hit me back, like, subscribe to the channel, let me know what y'all think, man. Boy, 7 Mitchell, T7 M Radio. The Culture with 7 Mitchell, Battle Rap Debate Podcast on T7 M Radio every Sunday and Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 347-989-8102, and, follow us on social media, at T7M Radio.